Alrighty. This plate is here. This is actually a loop. Play the whole thing here. Alright. You could cute. I like it. There are a couple things. As a character thing and then uh, some animation things and also presentation. I will personally do a front view orthographic and a full side view orthographic. Really flat on with the cameras. No perspective. And then you can always have one on the side that's a three quarter perspective. Just so we can kind of see things a bit clear in terms of arcs uh, and stuff like that. Now, just quick. I would look at, because you're doing Judy Hopps from Zootopia, so it's the tricky thing is when you use characters that exist in other movies, you, you know, not that you have to be, you know, fully in character. You can do whatever you want to do with those characters, but there's something about them potentially moving differently than what you saw in the movie. Um, again, if it's an exercise, totally fine. Uh, I personally wouldn't do that to send to a company, like full on existing assets. Uh, was then going to compare it to what they did, and they know the character pretty well. Just as a, as a quick FYI, anybody who listens, I would be careful with that. Animation-wise, I mean, also with the character, she's just so bouncy and happy that it's almost you almost would expect a more like a faster, bouncier, a little happier, um, you know, cycle there. But again, doesn't mean that she couldn't be something like that. I mean, for that speed, maybe it could be something where if you break it up, where she has the hand on the uh, on the what's it called the belt, and maybe she has you know like a walkie-talkie or something. Every now and then she looks around. She's kind of patrolling, so it's not bouncy happy, but you know, like a patrol walk. I mean, it seems also a bit vanilla. Maybe that's why you did it. But anyway, just want to throw out those comments there. Animation-wise, there are a couple of things. I think she is a bit stompy. Now that has to be a full human regular walk with the regular steps but i think i would tone down go back to the beginning here the amount of like the height i know she has to clear it because of this but maybe it would be a less of a bam once you get there it comes straight down maybe a little bit of a she can still get into an extension fairly further out and then come in like that maybe that will soften it a little bit speaking of feet Watch out, they're very flat. I will give them a little bit of a slight angle so they touch on this side first, so it's more aligned with the shin. And then over two frames or so, it flattens. So it's not so default. Speaking of default, it's also fairly straight. I will give them a slight overall outwards angle there. Might have it a little bit if that's what I'm looking at here. It just seems very straight. I would just push it. And then for asymmetry, um, push one more than the other. Like these guys, maybe one overall could be lower. Front view, it's a bit of an unfortunate silhouette. I know it's kind of in passing, but it's still a couple frames that we rest in this where we don't quite understand the structure there. I will bring out that elbow just a bit more. This feels just, it just feels all a bit soft and spliny, especially the Y here in the, in the hips and even the roll. Just everything has a little bit of a soft, spliny feel. Except that the head, that feels almost a bit two pounds in the eyebrows well that's the blink here there's one after the blink that i would take out gives a bit of a water balloon hand a little bit but almost with slight pop almost speaking of pop this hand has a pop right there i'm gonna play this Deep right there tiny tiny pop which i don't quite see in the other one And I think that's that for the bigger things. You know, it's, it's nice and loose. There's nothing where it's crazily harsh in terms of sudden stops. I think I'm just mostly react, reacting to the feet. And because of this, also kind of the impact there on the knee. And it's the softness in, in all of this is kind of what throws me off a bit. Where I would almost hold the side on the hips and then the chest a bit longer. Hold, hold, hold. You're also in Y. And then you go over. And on, and it's pretend you're keeping that stomp, and then I would really have a bit of a shoo, bit of a stronger up on the impact, just a bit, and then shoo, a bit faster on the passing, and then back there. So a little bit of pronounced hold, almost hold, right, and then shoo, with an impact there. But that's kind of that. So yeah, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.